In this video, we'll balance the equation lead to nitrate plus aluminum sulfate. So let's count the atoms up on each side. We have one lead, and then this NO3, it's called a nitrate group. It's a polyatomic ion, and it stays together in the chemical reaction. We have the nitrate here, and then it's here again on this side. So we're going to call it just one item, and that'll really simplify balancing. So we have one nitrate times the two. That gives us two nitrates, two aluminums, and then the SO4, that's called a sulfate. It also stays together. We have a sulfate here, and there's the sulfate again. So we're going to say we have one item, one sulfate times the three, three sulfates there on the product side, one lead, three times the one nitrate. We have three of those, one aluminum, and just one sulfate. So to balance it, why don't we fix the aluminums first? That looks kind of simple because we could just put a two in front of the aluminum nitrate. So we'll put that two there. One times two, that gives us two aluminums. Those are balanced. Then we have the three times one. So we have three nitrates times the two. That gives us six nitrate ions. So for the nitrates, we have six here and two. So we'll put a coefficient of three in front of the lead two nitrate. So now for the lead, one times three, that'll give us the three leads. And two of the nitrates times the three, that'll give us six of those those are balanced. So we're left with the lead and the sulfates. Those aren't balanced. We need three of each on this side. So we'll put our coefficient of three in front of the lead two sulfate. One times three, that balances the lead. One sulfate times the three, that gives us three of those. And we're done. This equation is balanced. So for an equation where we have these polyatomic ions that appear on both sides, we can count them as one item and you can see it's made the balancing much easier and you're less likely to make a mistake. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for PBNO32 plus AL2SO43. Thanks for watching.